Welcome back, I'm Brad from Nine Wolf. Uh, this is a quick review of a product that I bought off of uh, the geek slash wish.com website. Um, it's known as an infinite light, uh, an infinite match on the on the on the website. Um, as with everything, there are pros and cons to it. Um, I bought it for a pound. Uh, it came through the other day. I've had it for a few days now. Um, I've had a chance to, to play with it, a chance to try it out. As with everything, there are pros and cons. Um, I will go through the I will go through them as we go along. Um, unfortunately, with this product, there's quite a lot of cons. Um, there is one big pro, and I will mention that right at the end of this video. Um, so for now, let's just get into it. So what you get. When you first buy this, when you first buy this, is what looks like a little flask, and in all intents and purposes, that's exactly what it is. Um, in there, in the little screw thread, uh, the little screw, uh, you've got what is essentially—I don't know if you can see that there. Um, it's a striker, similar striker uh, to what you get on a fire striker, and in there you would put um, some fuel. In this case, I've actually used lighter fuel. Um, just because of its uh, low viscosity and um, ease, ease, ease of lightingness, basically. Um, on the side there, you see where I've stripped, you might be able to see where I've stripped some of the plastic, is uh, the ferrocerium rod. And I always pronounce that wrong, so please don't, please don't go on about that. Um, it's the same as what you'd find on a on striker, so... As usual, when you get a new uh, fire striker, you have to scrape some of the paint off before it will actually spark. The sparks on this are actually not too bad. When you can get them to, to spark. Now you've probably already seen one of the cons of this product. It takes an awful lot of effort to get a single spark. But when you do get spark, they do work pretty well. It's only a small little reservoir in there. Um, it's supposed to light 10,000 times. Whether it'll do 10,000 or not, I don't know. I doubt it very much. Um, I'm going to leave that to one side for now. Because as I was um, using this, I came. I started thinking, what do you compare this to? What can you compare this to? Um, and it became pretty obvious pretty quickly and to be honest and to be fair the products I'm sure the the alternatives I'm about to show you are probably better than this alternate this infinite match with one exception okay so I'm just gonna move that to one side now I won't put that back in I won't put that back together yet as a, because I will show you why uh, in terms of the alternatives you can pretty much guess what they are. Um, nice big box of matches. Working exactly the same way. I'm not gonna. I'm obviously not trying to light a fire, so I don't care if these go out straight away. But slightly better than the infinite match uh, in that it's lighter, and you're not gonna spill your fuel everywhere. Um, also feels and looks the same as the infinite match but there we go um, these all work so you've got the a disposable lighter there disposable lighter and a zippo lighter so with the zippo lighter let me just turn a bit there so in effect you get the, the reservoir of the infinite lighter, of the infinite match, in those two. Except these are a little bit more. And this is where my product, this is where my gadgets will fail me. Yeah, I'm right handed. There we go. These are a little bit rusty. They've been in my box for a little bit long, a little bit of time now. But you get the idea. And of course, you got classic Zippo. There is fuel in this because I put fuel in it last night. There we go. So in effect, these work the same 
is that and that. So there's no real advantage to the infinite match at the moment. The other thing that you might have probably figured out by yourself, I'm just going to get rid of that match. The other thing that you might have figured out by yourself is with the striker and the rod, you might as well use a fire striker. Now, yes, I know some of you are looking at that and saying that started rusting away, and yes, it has. Um, it won't take much to get a spark going from it, though, and the spark will be... Won't be quite as good, but there's no plastic sides to interfere with that spark. Okay, so there's that advantage. So, what do you get? from this infinite match well like I say you already get you get something that's kind of a cross between that and that and that and to a lesser extent that except I find all of those are infinitely superior to that. If you think about it, if we take the match itself out and concentrate just on the reservoir, there's a hole in the top, so you've got to keep you've got to keep your match or you've got to keep the reservoir up like that all the time. Otherwise your fuel's gonna spill out. Now put that to one side. That's me deliberately holding um, a disposable lighter upside down and there's no fuel dripping out. Same with the Zippo. No fuel dripping out. Let's go back to the infinite match. The striker on the side there. Tiny little striker and surrounded by plastic so you've got to get that you've got to get your striker exactly right otherwise you won't get a spark and you will start chewing up the plastic and I have started chewing up the plastic so you've got that or again put that to one side you've got that just a simple rod Nothing to interfere with the spark. Decisions. Coming on to even more cons of this. Let's see if I can actually get this lit. There we go. Right. So I've got it lit. You can see that it will burn for quite a long time, which is better than a match. And obviously, it's uh, it's not it doesn't use wood um, as its main fuel. It uses lighter fuel in this case. However, how do you put it out? What would you, what would happen if I put it straight back in the reservoir? <laughs> yes, I have just blown it out. What would happen if I put it straight back in the reservoir? It would go boom. So, again, not a lot of uh, use there. Also, look how much the wick has gone down. So again, where's the advantage in something like this over matches? Not only that, you actually have to wait for this to be cool enough. And again, it's usually the finger test that we have on the transier or the holding test that we have with the transier before you can put it back in the reservoir so once again there's not a lot of advantage of these over them however 
not all bad. Let me just refill. Let's do this again. On courses, you will find that a lot of people will struggle getting the fire lit with one of them. It takes a lot of practice and people start getting a little bit despondent and a little bit, I can't do it. Here is the big advantage with the, the infinite match. It's basically one of these. I hope I've got enough wick left for this now. Probably haven't got enough wick left. No, I haven't got enough wick left. But the what I was going to say is, you can get a spark going with the infinite match. It will hold the flame. It will hold a flame, start a flame, and then you can put that in underneath your fire. So you got the the best of both worlds. I'm just going to give it one more go. See if I can't. There we go. So you get it like that, and then you can put your fuel, uh, your fire in. Put this underneath your fire, and effectively you've got a fire started with a fire striker, which is what a lot of people want to do. Okay. Just blow that out, and once again leave that to cool down. So, infinite matches, are they worth it? Overall, no. In one particular circumstance is, as, as I've just demonstrated, yes, you can, yes, there is a use for them, big use for them. Um, and it's for those people that, have, that struggle with the fire strikers will get the spark onto a fire. They're a little bit more difficult to use than the fire strikers, obviously, uh, because they're a lot narrower rod and they are surrounded by plastic. Um, in all my honest opinion, in my complete honest opinion, these are worthless. Now, as I say, I only paid a pound for that, so. To me, that's not money wasted. It's a curious little gadget, and that's what I bought it for. Before I go, uh, there is one more thing that I would like to talk about. I found these. In our one of our local, found these in one of our local, um, I suppose you could call it a discount centre, um, called B and M in the UK. Now they're called wood wool. Um, come in packs of forty. There you go. Eco fire lighters. They're basically wood strips and something else. I haven't quite figured out what yet, but they are remarkable. I'm going to get rid of I'm gonna put everything on the ground here before I spark this up. They are just eco-friendly wood burners, um, but they last a really long time. and Take, take um, a spark really well. I'll just demonstrate that. One little match. And they burn for a really long time now. I'm convinced they are mixed in with paraffin, but I can't prove that. But in terms of uh, fire starters, uh, something to go in your bug out kit or a survival kit, or even if you just want to start a fire easily, go for these. Don't go for um, chemical fire lighters or anything like that. Um, these are just better overall, and they last a really long time. I mean, that 
that will last probably about 10 minutes before it burns out. So, but thank you for watching the video. I hope it was informative. Um, I hope you got something out of it. Anyway, this is Brad from Lone Wolf signing off. Thank you very much.